When it comes to choosing your first pet, sometimes a dog's a little bit more to take on. A fish is a great alternative. Not only are they great for kids, they're a really lovely living decoration to have in the home. Now I'm here with Kiri. Kiri, I've been hearing rumours around town that you're the fish specialist at Petstock. That's right. Now, if I was going to get started with some fish, what kind of tank should I start with? It's a really good question, Guyton. For children, you probably want to start with something small, around 15 to 20 litres. Just gives them an opportunity to get involved with the cleaning, the feeding, just the general care of the fish. For adults, something probably a bit bigger, 50 to 100 litres is about the right size to start with, but it also depends on what you've got your heart set on. Some fish are going to need to be in a bigger tank to start with, so that's where you would go. But as a general, 50 to 100 litres is a good place to start, and you also need to consider the living space you have available in your home. Yeah, right. So in terms of living space, where should I put my tank in terms of light? Yeah, absolutely. Look, there's a few things again to consider in this point. You want to make sure that the tank is not in direct sunlight, that it's not near a drafty window or that it's not near direct heating. All of those are actually going to affect the fish and their home as well. You also want to be near a power point. Fish tanks require multiple power points, so have a power board available. Also consider the space required to do the cleaning and the maintenance. And the last one to remember is most tanks come with a stand, but for those that don't, do you have somewhere suitable for your home? Yeah, I'm more of a party kind of guy, so I think I'd like a lot of fish. Is there anything I should consider about how many fish I can put into my tank? It certainly is. So it depends on the size of the tank you have and the size of the fish you want to put in there. So obviously, the bigger the tank, the more you can put in, the smaller, the less. The other things to consider is some fish are what's called schooling fish, so you need to have groups of six or more for them to actually feel comfortable. And then there's the other side where there's some fish that just like to be alone for whatever reason. So really important to do your research about compatibility and make sure that everyone is happy in that tank. So what about cleaning the tank? Do I have to do it often and, and also how do I go about doing it? Yeah, absolutely. Generally, you'd probably look at a fortnightly rule. So what that's involving is actually doing the cleaning inside, making sure you're wiping away any algae or anything unknown that's in there. You also want to be doing a really good quality water change. So what the water change does is actually removes some of those unwanted wastes that are left in that tank water, which again may be harmful to fish. And once you've done the water change, also adding a high quality water conditioner. Water conditioner neutralizes the chemicals in water that make it safe for us to drink, but they're actually quite harmful to fish themselves. So that's really important that, that you stick to a routine with that sort of thing. All right, Kerry, thanks. That's really helpful information. Where can I go to find out more about fish care? Really easy, Guyton. Jump on the internet, petstock.com.au. You'll find a local store there. Pop in and see one of our fish specialists and get plenty more fish facts from them. Right, well now I'm going to have to mull it over whether I get a fish tank or not. <laughs> How many litres is this one? 50 litres. Righto.